Hey, what's up everybody? Agamatsu today. Today we're going to be doing boss raid tier lists. That's right, because I'm also out of ideas. Anyway, so basically every class can be good at 1v1s if you play it correctly, with a few exceptions maybe, but you know, every class can put in work, right? And they are not exactly all really built for boss raiding. So I figured I'd go through the list and basically my thoughts on which classes are pretty much the best for a 1v3, 1v4 situation. Starting off with Dragon Slayer, I'm going to have to put this in either A or Easy tier because, I mean, it has a res, high mobility, high damage. Um, if you pair it up with a Fair Frozen, I mean, you can stop people from running away if you're trying to focus somebody. Easily, you can, like, if you're on top of Horse Fall and you knock somebody, you can just grab them, like, Wing Soar up and then just drop them uh, from the cliff. And that's a grip right there. You don't even need to worry about being able to grip people. I mean, it's just pretty great overall. I think for now, I'm going to put an Easy tier. Lapidus, I'm probably gonna have to put that in garbage. I'm not gonna lie. I see a lot of Lapidus uh, just get gripped pretty easily. I mean, yeah, the hammer can put in work, not gonna lie, but at the same time, when you're fighting like multiple classes and you just got multiple people on you, the lack of mobility is just gonna kill you. Deep Knight, uh, I might put that in C tier or garbage. I mean, Deep Knight's pretty cool because, you know, you can do those crazy combos, but there's just no mobility on it at all. I mean, at least you'll be able to one combo like a faceless if he gets, you know, hit in your chain pool. But most of the time when you're going to land those combos, the person's just going to run away and you're not really going to be able to do anything about it. So I might just put in garbage. I'll see about Deep Knight. Illusionist. I might actually put this in like B tier, surprisingly, because Hoppa. Uh, by the way, we're assuming like, you know, you have the best build, obviously, for each of these classes. I mean, you're not going to be boss rating without a really good uh, like artifact build. Um, I mean, you might be able to, but we're just going to assume for this video. Master and Illusionist, though, uh, we can put that in beats here. You have Hoppa, you have a lot of God spells. You don't really have to fight that much. Um, you can easily Dominus and spawn some Shriekers in to try and take somebody out. But then again, you don't really have a lot of opportunities to actually fight back. I might put it down in C tier because you're not really going to be boss rating. You're just going to be hopping around a lot. And um, it's really more so to, like, add in support, you know what I mean? If you have, like, more numbers versus being able to, like, 1v3, 1v4, you know what I mean? So I might just put this down in C later on. Necromancer might have to put this in A. And I'm not exactly going to put in easy just yet. I mean, Hoppa is incredible. Um, but at the same time, I can really... I really don't see many opportunities for the Necromancer to knock somebody. I mean, I, actually, I can see a good amount, actually. Never mind. Um... You can, like, use Snarve, for example, and then, you know, use your Cursed Sword or whatever. Spawn in a bunch of Shriekers, Howler, etc., etc. And if you gate to Snell and you have a bunch of your Necros set up, I mean, a bunch of your uh, Shriekers set up, that's a uh, really easy way to grip somebody as well. So, actually, I might put this in easy tier because Snell is just really goaded for a lot of Necromancers. Shinobi, easy, easy tier. Like, uh, I don't really need to say anything else. I think everybody knows. Shinobi is just that boss raid class, um easy mobility lots of free damage and a resurrection grapple do i even need to really say any more i don't think i need to so do not commander i'm not gonna lie i might just have to put that at c i mean hyper body and is cool and all um to be honest your social charges are cool and all but a lot of times if you find like a solens alone and you have like two or three of your buddies you're probably going to be able to grip them unless he's that go to you can like gate away or snap gaily away you don't really see them boss rating as much because they're kind of slow, and you can cancel their charges by hitting them, so they're not really going to be able to put out much combo. Like, they can, they can like, hit a one combo on somebody, but that one combo can be stopped if, like, a D-Sage, like, landing drops them, for example. So, um, yeah, I might just hit, uh, keep them at C-tier. Uh, DSK, probably going to have to put that in C-tier or garbage. I mean, lots of health, uh, good with runes, but don't get me wrong, I don't really see it <laughs> being able to boss raid many people. If anything, you're probably going to be running away to your mirror. Or some shit like that if you get jumped by like three or four people not really the type to be fighting a lot of people oni probably gonna put this in b or c the thing about oni is that it has axe kick and that's really good for fighting multiple people i mean if you're able to land some crazy combos and yeah you can easily take out somebody and reduce their numbers at the same time though if you're caught lacking as an oni like once and you get like hit with a nasty combo like a lot of people are running like um like vamp armor or just the regular oni armor like if you get caught lacking your health is depleted um and you're probably gonna have to run away but i can see oni definitely putting in a lot of work ronin gonna have to probably put that in garbage not gonna lie i mean maybe with flow encounter you'll be able to hit up some combos but the fact that like the combos take so long to do you're probably going to be knocked out of it it's not like that 
you know, damage that comes out quickly, like an Oni, like, you know, you gotta keep them in that chain, and so when you're fighting multiple people, you just don't have those opportunities, also, like, no mobility options at all, Bard, surprisingly, I might just put this in B or C tier, the thing about Bard is that, um, with, like, the infinite mana, like, you can climb around so fast, I mean, if you have, like, a spider club Bard, for example, I mean, I've had that, something like that before, and you're able just to move around so quickly and just deal with a lot of things, you know what I mean? Um, of course, there's not really many attack options, so a lot of people end up going like Navrin, for example, Navrin, uh, Bard, if they actually want to fight. Um, but again, it is a support class, though, so you're not really going to be gripping that many people in a boss, like, a, you know, a boss raiding situation. You're probably just going to be doing a lot of running around and maybe hoping to knock a few people off the wall, so I might just actually put this in C tier, not going to lie. Really good for surviving, though. Druid, probably going to have to put this in S uh, easy tier. Um, well, actually, mm, I'll see, because the thing about, like, a boss raid druid, right, a lot of times they'll be hitting their combos and, like, you go up to them and then they hop away, you know what I mean? So you might be able to get a few kills, like, if you knock somebody, just hop up and then just grip them. Um, you might be able to do a couple kills with that, but at the same time, it doesn't really have uh, the same thing Necromancer has with, like, Shriekers and shit and Bounds. Um, and so if there's, like, a lot of people coming to you, like, it can be kind of difficult to try and deal with all of them. You're probably gonna have to deal with them, like, one at a time and... I don't know, you don't really have that many uh, chances to, like, maybe try and knock someone. Unless you, like, focus someone down. Perhaps so, but... Uh, I'll, I'll see about Druid for now. But yeah, Druid is really solid um, with Hoppa. Anyway, D-Sage. I think it's a solid A tier uh, for D-Sage. I think with a Spider Cloak D-Sage, you're pro... Oh, actually, let me think. With a Spider Cloak D-Sage, you are able to do some nice combos. Um, but then again, at the same time, not a lot of health. I I'll have to think about D-Sage in a second. Let me, let me move on to Abyss. Garbage tier. Not gonna lie, man. Like, they don't even need to say anything. Like, you don't even have the option to run away. Um, you can only just jump into the Abyss, and that's if you're, like, near Desert 3. Um, so, I don't know. Abyss is just not really that great in general for, uh, ganks. Faceless. I think I can put this as an easy, easy tier. Um, again high mobility high damage yeah sure you're gonna be you have low health but like you can easily pop pots or like if you're a vampire you can just run away for a little bit like they're not gonna be able to catch you um i think it goes to show that you know face is just one of the best classes in the game for shit like that church knight this represents like ckdks ck necros for example um just a lot of hybrids and i think for hybrids in general i'm gonna put that like a c tier um, unless you're like um, a CK Necro perhaps and you can use Hoppa, I don't really see much work you're going to be putting in. Like a lot of times you're just not really going to be able to do that much. Um, you might as well just go like be like a, a whole ass Necromancer if you're trying to do that type of shit. I see CK Necro more as like, oh, you're in a gank and it's like a 5v5 versus you're trying to 1v5. You know what I mean? Unless you're just constantly hoppling away. Even then though, unless you have like the OG CK Necro build um damage is not going to be uh too easy to land in those situations because your mobility is only limited to hoppa and you need to have hoppa you know what i mean well some of these other classes like you don't exactly need to have a like nice flashy build um all well besides maybe like druid and necromancer but these three in specific you don't re you can just kind of play the class itself and um you actually will be able to do a lot better than most of these other classes so that's also something i'm trying to keep in mind not just the max build, but the classes itself. So I'm actually gonna knock down D-Sage to B, or maybe C tier, actually. I don't know, I'll keep it in B tier. I'm a little bit unsure about D-Sage because a lot of people have a Spider Cloak D-Sage, but um, remove the Spider Cloak and uh, you're getting, you're gonna get like one comboed, probably by like a Deep Knight on the other team. But at the same time, you've got that Spider Cloak, a lot of them, you know, move on really fast, hit a lining up, hit a lining drop, just a lot of moves that you can just use one time and just add a snap bigness onto it for a lot of damage and then just move around but trying to grip people can also be kind of tough so i'll have to see but yeah for now i think that's the end of my list feel free to agree or disagree in the comments down below i will be responding to comments again uh this is just my opinion so um you know don't take that don't take everything as fact you can feel free to disagree if you want that's all uh, for today's video guys i'll see you guys later peace